Okay, we're here with the Automani Hybrid Ram Truck. And as you can see, this thing can get up to 200 miles per gallon. That's if you don't go more than 30 miles a day. What happens is the truck stays on idle. The engine stays on idle. You put it in neutral while you're driving down the road. I'm gonna pop the hood so you can see that it's got the engine in there. I didn't do anything to the engine. So it's got the stock engine in there. As you can see, a little bit dirty. There's a stock engine, but what we did is we added a drive shaft system. As you can see up underneath the truck, got an entire drive shaft system. So now what we're going to do is go for a ride. So I'm going to hand the camera to my lovely assistant. We're going to go Okay, here's the controls. Uh, this tells you how much fuel you have. We've got 99% battery. Using no amps. Uh, I got 133 volts. The temperature in the battery is 96 degrees. Amp hours is 59. And I'm on full, as you can see. And this tells me everything I need to know. To take off, as you can see, I can put it in drive. And I can take off normal off just like a normal truck but let's say I want to get 200 miles per gallon what I do is I put it in neutral as you can see it's in neutral and I simply move this forward and as you can see we're moving forward I'm not using any gas whatsoever and it's in neutral this truck will stay on neutral for six hours and only burn one gallon of gas this truck still requires you to put on your seat belts. So we're gonna put on our seat belts. So we'll take off from here again. You can see we're taking off. I'm in all, I'm in complete electric mode right now. The engine is in neutral. The engine is on, and but we're still moving forward using electricity going to the electric motors that you saw underneath the truck. Stop at this stop sign. As you can see, the power brakes, air works fine. The air still works. We got our stereo. He's got his blinker on. The windshield wipers, everything still works. So now we're just going to move forward. As you can see, we're driving down the road now. So as you can see, we're driving normal, just like anybody else, except we're not using any gas besides what it's using in neutral. While, like I said, while it's in neutral, I should be able, as long as I don't go more than 30 miles per charge, and I can get up to three charges per day in this vehicle, I can get over 240 miles per gallon out of this vehicle. That's if I leave it in neutral all the time. But once I put it in drive and I hit my gas, I start getting about 10 miles to the gallon, which is in reality what this truck gets in the city. So 
as you can see, this truck works uh, in gas mode and in electric mode. It's got plenty of power. Once this goes empty down here, then you just simply plug it in. And I'm going to show you how to plug it in. We're going to go back to the garage and I'm going to show you what it takes to plug it in. So we go around here. I can use this at the same time. Look at this. Oh, see, I, I'm going a little bit faster because I hit my throttle at the same time. So I'm going to hit my gas and the electric throttle at the same time. As you can see, it takes off a lot faster. Actually, we got up to about 35 miles an hour that fast in a parking lot. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to get out of the truck and I'm going to show you the battery pack in the back. crawl back here as you can see <clears throat> this is what I use I plug this straight into the wall and it charges overnight just like a hair dryer I can come back in here as you can see this closes open this up <clears throat> these are my battery packs I can add more battery packs I can get more power I can go longer distances but this is my controller it stays cool with these fans. I can also do water injection if I want to add a lot of power and get about an extra 200 horsepower, turn it into a race truck maybe. Uh, but as you can see, I can keep adding batteries. I can do bigger batteries. This is the smallest package that we have. And this package will take you about 15 miles. It's a very small pack. Uh, we can go um, about three times the size except the batteries only get about 15 pounds more and they only get about that much bigger. About that much higher and that much wider. And it can go three times the distance with three times the power. And I have bigger boxes and I can put this all inside and all these batteries can go inside as well. Yeah. 